Medieval Country Balls by Polish Tortoise. We have The Fall of Rome, summarized by Country Balls. Uh, now we have West Rome and East Rome. Byzantium's gonna survive for another thousand years. Uh, medieval Country Balls. Thank you. Oh, is this all in Latin? We have the Arab Conquests. We're gonna see the Umayyads. Oh, wait, no, this might be already... Okay, Byzantium's going down because we're gonna have the rise of the Ottomans. Oh, what an epic caliphate. They already have several black eyes at this point. Uh, there we have Charlemagne's empire. They're gonna break up into basically West Francia, Middle Francia, East Francia, which are like origin stories for Italy, France, and Germany. Here are the Crusades, summarized. <laughs> Literally metal music <laughs> coming together. <laughs> Deus Vault time. Literally the most perfect music to summarize the Crusades. The Mongol conquests. China's not really doing a whole lot until all of a sudden demon mode. We have the Black Death, summarized. Poland's doing very good during that time. Meanwhile in America, Age of Discovery. We're just having a good time. Uh, all of a sudden the Spaniards come and... That's a perfect summary, yes. They... The, there's, there's several sicknesses. I really love this summary of the fall of Rome because uh, it is just like... Byzantium comes and then all of a sudden Western Rome just spontaneously combusts. Everyone talks about the Ottomans having a slow death, but you know what? So did Byzantium. Maybe this area of the world just is doomed to have that. Byzantium lasted for 1100 years, but man, that last crumble in 1453, it was rough. I think this is a perfect summary also of the Mongolian invasion because literally nothing and then all of a sudden, boom, they're here and they're just about to frick stuff up. Again, that video was by Polish Tortoise. Please go subscribe if you aren't already. Absolutely one of my favorite country ball channels. Here's another one by him. This one's called War.xe. World War One. We have, of course, Imperial Germany versus the Entente. Uh, and the lines do not move until the US comes. I mean, <laughs> kind of. Here's WW2, a no no Germany. Literally speeding by. I love that summary of how Slovakia sees things. I never realized it from this Slovakian perspective, but they literally did just see Austria and the Czech Republic get instantly obliterated. So obviously from Slovakia's perspective, it's like, oh, well, I guess I don't have any other choice. So we have, of course, Poland getting smashed. We all know about that. Uh, next is France. Uh, they're trying to, they're, they're trying to do the, uh, uh, and it doesn't work. There's a giant Russian speed bump, and it's, yeah, and it's, and it's over. WW3! Oh, we're looking into the future. We have Russia and China teamed. Okay, I think I've seen a gif of that before in Terminator 2. And of course, World War 4 will be uh, fought with sticks and stones, because, yeah, that's obviously what's gonna happen. Lovely sound effect of, like, nuclear radiation in this shot. I like that we don't know exactly who dropped the nuke, but, uh, it doesn't really matter because we're all getting wiped out. I was kinda hoping aliens would make a cameo for WW4. Gotta spice things up after the trilogy. Uh, it was Einstein that said it. I don't know what weapons WW3 will be fought with, but WW4 will be fought with sticks and stones. Here's the history of North America by Canvas Country Balls. So, of course, we have a pretty large, chunky-looking uh, British Empire and Spanish Spanish Empire. The French are gonna make a nice cameo here in a second though. Oh, there they are. Okay, well first we're gonna have the uh, 13 colonies rise up and form the United States. A little revolutionary war for you. Spain is gonna also help out with that as well as, yeah, France is gonna help defeat their rival of Britain. So, US is looking big. They've now joined the game. There's still some uncolonized lands up here. Also can't forget about the Caribbean that Spain has most control over down here. And now they're slowly gonna approach the Pacific. Hey, where's France? Okay, there we go. There's France. Ah, uh, get like a light blue. Will you sell Louisiana? Yeah, why not? So we decided to just buy a big chunk of land there. Is Mexico about to appear pretty soon? Hey, Spain. I'm taking Florida. And it's that easy. There it is. Okay, so Mexico has now appeared. We're also going to see a fight over Texas soon enough. And then the U.S. and Britain. Yeah, I mean, kind of. There's something something like that right there. Boom, we're going to take over Texas. Mexico's not going to like that, so we're going to eat a large chunk of Mexico's land. Push them all the way back. We could have taken more. There was uh, an argument to take even more of Mexico. Spain is still, uh, or Cuba is still controlling Spain. Then we have the U.S. Civil War. 
the South has ri risen up. It's kind of funny because the Civil War, at least from a map perspective, really boring to watch. This is pretty much all the action you're going to get. I guess that does make sense because there was like a giant blockade on all these states down here. And that's pretty much everything for the continent, right? I mean, the UK is going to leave. We kind of have somewhat of an independent Canada. Canada's going to get their independence fully eventually. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, what about, what about Cuba? What about Cuba? I'm creating NATO. NATO. Did I say NATO? And now Ukraine's popping up. We also bought Alaska during this time. I love that there was actually a small reference to the Great Depression after I'm joining World War One. This is it right here. It's just the USA ball looking kind of sad for one second. I mean, in country ball time, uh, 10 years is pretty much like one second. That makes sense. Again, that was by Canvas Country Balls. Go subscribe. Countries scaled by W's or wins by PWA. Uh, scaled by wins? How absurd. Yeah, I'm interested to see what kind of wins we're talking about. Not at all. This is well, yes. So you're saying because you have the most wins uh, this will prove I'm the best is the USA I'm the most freest country are we talking about war uh, not all the uh, topics were good to win oh yeah you don't want to win obesity healthcare costs things like that are we talking about military victories because I know that France is technically the best most winningest country for military victories I only have one scaled by win I feel like I should have more. Oh, scaled by IC. This is specifically talking about PWA videos, I'm thinking. Yeah, you actually don't want to win all the competitions because they can be bad. Oh, the only one they got is scaled by college fees. That's the only dub they got. Oh, that's, yeah, two scaled by wins for Canada. I won lakes and longest coastlines. I remember that. Muy bueno. I have uh, three. Highest paid athlete. Highest paid athlete? Mexico. Oh, it's Canelo, I think. And then storms and then Coke cons consumption. Yeah, this... The, the Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, yeah, the south part of Mexico really likes their Coca-Cola. I bet you didn't think I'd be here. I did, says India. Thanks, India. I have four scaled by wins. Tallest building and structure, the fastest car, and the most traffic. All right, United Arab Emirates. How long is this going to take? I might take even longer now, says India. I have five scaled by wins. Should I say what they are? No, just scale up. No. <laughs> tallest, uh, wait, wait. T tallest what? Milk consumption also. Tallest statues, milk consumption, currency, reading, and wordiest languages. I remember so many of these. I have eight scaled by wins, says China. Are you going to say what they are? Say it's classified. Uh, that's Russia's thing. Yeah, well... Russia's not here, so you can just be him. Classified. Oh, finally, the USA has the most. Finally, the main event. So far, I have 22 scaled by wins and counting. Actually, this would make it so I have 23 now. That's right. No one comes close to me. Say all of them. Say all of them. So much freedom up here. I really am the best. Again, don't forget about what, who was that earlier that said that? Canada or the UK? Technically winning the scaled by wins aren't always a good thing. Some of those wins that the USA have is not something to gloat about. I mean, for instance, the USA didn't win this one, but countries scaled by house prices, that was South Korea, not necessarily a good dub. Again, this is PWA, please go subscribe. FBI open up by 3D Country Balls animations. Uh, look what, wait, wait, we actually don't need these captions. It's already captions. All right, who exactly is the FBI gonna raid? The Middle East looks like Guys, look what I found! Oil! Yeah, it's definitely the Middle East. Also Venezuela over there. Uh, okay, so the this is literally the US. I love that this is an exact shot-by-shot -shot replication just in the Country Balls universe. <laughs> of course, they're going in for the oil. This might be the greatest video. I've. This is the greatest explanation. Never use the word oil or Joe Biden will uh, come to you. Will come for you. It's like saying come to Brazil. You're going to have to come to Brazil after that. Again, what a cool video because like I said, it was an exact shot by shot replication or a replica in the country ball universe of this famous gift. I never really even paid attention to the fact that he just like randomly breaks a vase for no reason. I love that this house is like a bunch of enemies of the USA. We have Vietnam in the wall here. Get out of my tree. That's probably just made the US even angrier. Meanwhile, we have a lot of different little cameos instead of a vase it's actually is this Yemen just getting smashed into a wall for literally no reason we also have I believe that is Colombia uh, being 
I don't know, they're just caught in the crossfire. Look at this nice picture in the background of all the country balls together. Canada, who was just trying to have a good time with their little Australian flag on the wall. I love how, how many Easter eggs this video has. Canada gets tackled. Meanwhile, this other FBI agent is just interviewing this uh, Iraq ball. They've been doing that for some time. Another Vietnam reference up here. Of course, Libya gets it pretty hard. Not sure why Israel Cube was just sitting on this table like that, but uh, yeah, they're getting smashed. Pakistan and Iran. Of course, the barrel of oil have to go. Here's Afghanistan and Syria. They were just trying to have like a little birthday party, it looks like. Is that the president of Turkey right there? Again, you know it is a fantastic country ball video when you have to go frame by frame to see all the little references. Man, they was literally just vibing out here. And uh, well, as soon as oil got introduced to the party, everything changed. Again, that was by 3D Country Ball Animations. Go subscribe. The Coconut Song, but it is uh, the country ball version. <laughs> What is- I don't even- okay, I'm gonna try my best to keep up with this. I love that they're all drawings. Let's get started now. Indonesia, India. Coconut. Who is the best coconut nation? Who has the most coconuts? Is it the Philippines? <laughs> coconut? The coconut is a giant this is beautiful. Nut. If you eat too it is much, you Mexico. Get very fat now. The uh, coconut okay. is Mexico. a big big nut, but this delicious nut. Thailand is not a nut. It's the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brazil, the Vietnam, coconut Papua New Guinea, uh, Sri Lanka up there, the Malaysia. Ah, they're literally the coconut family. Consent? Why is India teaching the Philippines about consent? Oh, because you can make uh, trees out of the uh, coconut tree. You can make houses out of the trees. Ah. Indonesia? Build, build, build. Okay, coconut man. Of course, of course it's Brazil that's cutting down the trees. Of the coconut tree. <laughs> I guess there are many the uses. Not just the coconut themselves, but the trees. Pretty useful. This is a brilliant video. I love that the Philippines are the star here. Save some of it, you can build a door now. The coconut trunk, do not throw this junk. If you I, save some of got some it, cool you have a second floor. cameo countries too. Coconut wood is very good. It can yes. stand 20 years if you pray it would. Now, the coconut <laughs> is that root. Uh, the Pope would pray to your new leader. Coconut root to tell you the truth. You can oh. throw it or you Use it as firewood. Oh. oh, of course, Brazil's on fire, too. Shade it gives for the roof, for the walls. I'm against the eaves now. The coconut fruit, say my relatives make. Oh, of course, uh, Papa USA watching their boy, the Philippines, because, you know, we had like the Filipino colony for a little bit there. We're just reading a book about burgers. That's just what we do. Cannonballs up against the feet. Cannonballs. Uh, good time to remind everyone that uh, falling coconuts, I think, kill 10 people per year around the world. Never forget that. Of the coco tree. Be careful. Be careful. My fall. From the coco palm family. The coco palm family. The song just keeps getting more and more epic. Chubby country bowls. Looks like a bowling ball for a second. Oh yeah, I think it's supposed to be. Yes. Is that true? I'd like to test that theory. It's not a nut. Of the coco tree. I'm guessing these are all countries that have a lot of coconut trees. I don't think I've ever looked it up before, though. I like how it gets quieter. And now comes the ascendo, more than likely. Oh, does Indonesia have a bandage on their head? <laughs> Vietnam drinking coffee. From the coco yeah, there it is. There's the Ashenda. Wow! 
<laughs> random reference <laughs> to all the greatest screenshots of the video. That was actually really great. Of course, I should have known the countries that were featured in that video are the countries with the most coconut trees. Love the accuracy there. So it does appear that Brazil, India, Indonesia, and then the Philippines, the star of the show, have the most coconut trees in the world. They're estimated over 10 million. Mexico also surprisingly has a lot compared to the US who has none. Vietnam also heavily featured. They've got a lot too. <laughs> Death by coconut. There's actually way more. It's actually 150 people worldwide each year. That's a crazy amount. Funny enough, I did see my first coconut tree in Mexico, and the first thing I did is just stayed as far away from it as possible because that was the first fact that came to my head. I'm not going to be one of those 150 people. With how high those things are up, if they come tumbling down, it's going to mess you up. One of these coconuts hits you in your coconut, you're definitely done for. Didn't realize how much coconut trees are so pivotal to certain countries. There's just so many uses. A lot of Asian medicines also use coconut roots for their belief of antibacterial and antiviral benefits. These trees are just so OP. That video was by Barry Republic. Please go subscribe. That was such a cool video. And now I know to put this song on my Spotify playlist. It's been around for 12 years. I didn't know about it though. And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kidnapper and I've moved Drew to a Patagonian Australia village. Australia is real. Drew I'm not a paid actor. The grandpa. slow depressing Drew portal Drew collapse. Asher, 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 the imposter, Robert Hyde, Kingsburg, Best Girl, The Great Polish, Why is it real, Drew? Zany Boy, Twenty Dollars.